Climb every mountain. Okay, it's not a mountain, but uh, what else could I have done for that? I don't know any other Broadway songs that involve climbing ladders. Probably this one. All right, well let's let's save state, not speed key. Save state and speed key are right next to each other, in case you weren't aware. Yeah, let's get over to this thing. Okay, thank goodness we actually grabbed it. This is a cable car. It goes over to Space World. Uh, it's stuck, so we gotta do this. And now we can go to Space World. Track B to experience the scenic splendor of the cable car across the space zone. Excuse me, not Space World. But what's really cool, and they didn't mention, is that it actually changes color and material on its way over. Now that's impressive. I'd love to see that in Disney World. So, you saw it in the cutscene, I saw it in the cutscene. I'm making a save state because I'm probably going to fall. Okay, good, I didn't. More honeycomb pieces. Eight. I think that's probably enough to give me three more units of energy. On my last playthrough, I think I went through maybe one or two, at least one or two more levels before finally giving up. I mean, the place where you really want to have extra health is the boss levels. The bosses, I should say. The bosses really don't get too difficult until... Actually, I don't know if they ever really get that difficult until the final boss. Final boss is pretty tough, but... Like, the actual level bosses, I think almost all of them... I mean, obviously they can be beaten with 5 health, but I think I can beat most of them with 5 health. So, you remember the floating box from the last level? Yeah, it was that one area that I went into, and it didn't have anything, because it was just a door that wasn't open, and that went into this level. Actually, am I, if I go in here... Oh. Didn't we already get this speech earlier? Okay, so this makes me think that they actually will let you go into Glitter Gulch Mine, but... There's absolutely no need for me to do that, so instead... Who's up for a rail shooter? This is actually really cool just because it goes through the entire level. And I'm making a save state in case I have to try this again. Now, there's actually two things to get from this, a Cheeto page and a Jiggy. So if you get the higher score, you get... Okay, it's 500. So if you get 500, you get both of them at once. You don't have to play it a second time. And more red, green, blue stuff. And, a, and uh, the annoying sound of constantly firing eggs. I'm not doing as bad as I thought I would be with uh, the flimsiness of this controller. <laughs> Loading screen just wrecked the music. That's always fun. Doesn't use. I don't think that really happens in the console. It's been a while since I've played on console though.
so since we so since we're talking about well we're not really talking about it but since we're firing tons upon tons of eggs here's a funny egg related story i was in fifth grade and we were reading some story in literature class it had something to do with hatchet it might have been called like bury the hatchet or something i don't even remember but before we even started reading uh the teacher said uh, when you hear the word hatchet what comes to mind and it was coming up with like all these dangerous sounding stuff because a hatchet is an axe basically uh, but i didn't know that a hatchet was an axe so i said and my teacher thought I said eggs, thinking, and then she, you know, she didn't even, like, do a double take or anything. She was just like, AIDS? Oh, yeah, that's very dangerous. And I'm thinking this had absolutely nothing to do with hatchets or eggs, because I said eggs. She's like, oh, you mean, like, chicken eggs? I'm not sure. Mizui eggs? It's been a while since I've looked it up. I know that Kazooie is a Regal, and I'm fairly certain that Regal is not a real bird species. F feel free to call me out on it, but I'm pretty sure Regals aren't real. I think they. I think I think she got that name because that's the sound that she makes sometimes, like when you do this split up move, and she's like Regal. You know. So how are we doing? We got Walker. Oh yeah, we're in the final stretch, and I am like 70 points off. Oh man, can I get 500? Uh, damn it. Well, this was so much fun the first time. I guess I'll play it again. But I won't make you watch watch it. So, gonna cut until I get the jiggy for this. Bleep! Five, three, skip the two, one. I did it. Second time's the charm. There was definitely not any save state abuse through that second run. I mean, it only counts if I load save states, right? I, I saved a lot of states, but I didn't load any. All my prize is gone, but why not try to bleep? Ah, uh, bleep this game. Well... We've got... You've probably figured out by now that we've only got one thing left to do in this game. And we still haven't redeemed those tickets that we got from the evil cash registers. And I'm also walking towards the big top tent. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Game suddenly got a lot louder. It's weird. <laughs> Let me see your tickets. Some people might think it's kind of weird that they require two tickets per person, but I mean, that's kind of common in a carnival, you know, like this ride takes two tickets, this ride takes three tickets, this ride's super awesome, it's five, or this kitty coaster is only one. Let's ride the kitty coaster eight times. I mean, that's what I would do. I love the kitty coaster. I don't see any seats, perhaps we're supposed to sit on this big lump on the floor over here. Yeah, what's the point of a big top tent if there's no seating and the only thing inside is a giant inflatable thing? Uh, I want to say that it's a strange wobble inflatable thing. I haven't really been paying much attention to the boss descriptions, but some of them are pretty funny. I actually remember on YouTube seeing one person at Strange Wobbly Inflatable Thing. Hey, I got it! Yeah, I saw a uh, person on face not Facebook, uh, another you video on YouTube, and he actually wrote his own lyrics to the song for Mr. Patch. I don't know them. I'm not going to even try to sing them, but I might break into a couple of them. It's just fun, I guess. I'm going to try and get this one. But just because that happened later. 
gonna make getting ones that are lower on this body a lot harder. Interestingly enough, I think this might be the only boss from Banjo Tui that makes a return appearance in Nuts and Bolts. He actually shows him twice. Uh, once is almost exactly the same as this, except instead of flying, you're using a flying vehicle to really just him. And then the second time you see him, he's he, he's like meta, meta Mr. Patch, you know, like Meta Ridley or Metal Bots or. And in that one, you actually shock him into the Cactus of Strength, which is also in the game. Aw, oh, man. I believe it is possible to bust his patches with that move as well. But you have to not miss like I did. It is easier just to use the grenade eggs. I think it requires grenade eggs to bust it. Either way, it's better to use them anyway because they have an area of effect. And I'm not super amazing at aiming. Although I must say, I'm for saying I'm not all that great, uh, I must be doing pretty good. Of course, now that I've said that, <laughs> it's reverse psychology at work. I used to do it all the time when I was playing at Zero GX, which, in my opinion, is probably the hardest game I've ever beaten. That, that is... If you've not played it, it's, it's a wonderful exper experience, but it, it, it is also extremely difficult. Especially for a racing game, although, actually, racing games in general are really hard. A lot, way too many of them, that I see at least anyways, seem to have this premise where they start off really, really easy, and then they get to be almost impossible by the end. Burnout does that, Need for Speed does that, Forza does that, although a lot of times Forza's difficulty is just waiting for the goddamn race to end, because at least in Forza 2, it's not as bad in later editions, but Forza 2 we definitely had it pretty bad. You would start off with uh, two to three minute races, and like halfway through the game it would be more like closer to ten minute races, and then the last the last section was nearly hour long races. And I'm just thinking, who's got the time? So, that whole time I forgot to say anything about that Mr. Patch song. Uh, a, a lot of it was, oh, his name is Mr. Patch and he is really creepy. I'd link to it, but uh, I'll, I'll only link to it if I can actually find it. it. It may or may not even be on Facebook. Why do I want to say Facebook? YouTube. Well, we are basically done with Witchy World for the time being. Let me just make a quick check here. Yep. Everything except for one Jiggy. So, I think we've got time left to head back to Jiggy Wiggy's place and... Jiggy Wiggies. Or, I guess, grab the Jiggy Wiggies and then put them on the puzzle. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, hey, we haven't had this discussion two times already. That's not fair. Of course it's not fair! There have... Fun fact, there happens to be exactly one exit out of this level that doesn't have that sign. Once more with the logic of, we have rules that must be upheld, except for when they don't need to be upheld. Well, time to go in here. Going on back to Wooded Hollow. Uh, there are a couple of things, actually, that I can grab. I can spiral mountain. Do I want to actually go to the bot, go to the trouble of it? Gets you some non-essentials. Uh, there's a homing eggs cheat, and there's also uh, what's what's the uh, what's the other thing? Oh yeah, it's a special move called the Breagle Bash, where you actually like, hit your opponents or enemies with Kazooie. It's pretty funny. I might go for those later. And once again, we're keeping with the, tra with the tradition of a 
level preview that doesn't really show what the level's really about. Just, this is a really random side area that has barely anything in it. Though, honestly, this game's kind of full of those. All of the, Pretty much every single level in this game is significantly larger than any given level from the original game. That is one complaint that I have heard from people about this game, but... I generally enjoy having a large area to, to explore as long as it's not like, as long as it's not completely empty and there's just nothing to see while you're just walking from place to place, which let's be honest happens way more often than it needs to in games like Elder Scrolls, at least in my experience. Behold the power of the speed key that makes this slightly less annoying. Hey, shoes. So, there's Yi Lagune, which we'll be heading to in our next episode. But I've still got some time, so why don't we see just how much of a chosen one I truly am. Because I also have enough jiggies to attempt Challenge 5. So you're getting a brief view of at least... of at least two levels. Don't know off the top of my head what the level requirement for the next one is. You can probably see the train tracks. This is actually the train station for this particular level. It might be my favorite level in the game just because... Oh, you already saw you already saw one in the puzzle because dinosaurs. Jurassic Park happens to be my favorite movie, and I'm about as crazy as about dinosaurs as any five-year-old kid is, and I am not ashamed at all. I'm glad these puzzles are. While they're still glitchy, they're not so glitchy that you can't see anything. Oh, by the way, that green Jinjo is in fact a Minjo. Alright, so we speed up some more. We'll see if I decide to actually speed up even further in editing. I'm not sure if I will or not. So how many jiggies do I have right now? 32? No more teeth. I am indeed the chosen one. I also have enough jiggies to attempt challenge six. Yeah, six. <laughs> All right. Definitely not enough for to um, open up four levels, but I will open up three. So you're getting yet another level preview. And for a moment, I thought it was the train station again. That thing you can see in the distance is probably one of my favorite basic enemies. Uh, uh, of course, aside from the uh, green cowboy dudes that you've already seen that go, Ooh! Those those also make a funny noise when they die, but I'll, I'll wait until after you've heard the real thing before I butcher it for you. Okay, go. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, I'm running out of time. I only have 51 seconds. Uh, oh wait. And none of these are hard, because they don't do the one thing that makes solving virtual puzzles hard, which is having to rotate the pieces. They do pull that scheme at the very end of the game as some kind of special bonus thing, but... I honestly don't really even remember what it does, because I usually don't bother to do it.
That was a really nice door creaking open sound effect, I gotta say. I actually interviewed at a company today uh, with the name Industries in it, and it's really hard for me to see the word Industries after a name without thinking about Grunty Industries. Of course, that'll be several more levels from now. Hopefully only four jiggies to get to the next level. There are two more main levels after that, and there are two different things that you have to do to open stuff in the... What am I trying to say? To open up stuff in the final level. You open it up once, you do some stuff, then you open it up a second time to get access to... Final boss. Not sure why I completely went silent for a moment there. Yeah, I was about to go into the next area, the overworld, and then leave you off on another cliffhanger where I enter the level and then fade to black and then end the segment. But there's a thing or two I want to do in here really helpful. Because the next level is a water level, and I could really use some extra swimming speed. Yeah, here's the hole that Grunty fell into. I don't know if I showed that earlier. Gotta love the cartoony physics. What happens when you click on these, or not click, but interact with these dead molehills? Oh, yes. Here's what the control, what the moves from the last game are. I gotta say, I love it when a sequel comes out and you have all of your moves and abilities from the end of the last game. So you get all new abilities instead of, you know, like Metroid, where it's like, oh, you gotta unlock missiles again, and then you gotta unlock the power bomb again, and. I mean, I love, love Metroid, but uh, I kind of wish I could have a, a sequel while I, where I start off with everything in the previous game and then just have, like, a super crazy arsenal by the end of the second and possibly third game. I'm, I'm mainly alluding to the Metroid Prime series right now, because Metroid Prime 2 is my favorite Metroid Prime game. Or Metroid game in general, really. So yeah, we can swim faster and we got extra bubbles. Kazooie was not pleased, but I think I think getting I think getting some extra bubbles is nice, but getting a faster way to swim around is awesome. There's more junk I can do in this area, but uh, one thing that's there's only one thing that's kind of important, and I need a move from the next level to do it, so I'm gonna wait. There's also a thing over there. It's also that's where you get the thing that allows you to get the Briegel Bash that I mentioned previously. But now we're actually going to go access the new area in the old world. And I will be doing that cliffhanger thing, but there's still a couple more things to do in the overworld first. So I've been saying that I was going to take a visit to Honey Bee. Normally I would do it uh, later on in the game, but I won't really be coming into this particular area of the overworld really that much. So may as well just do it now. I guess I should wait till she's on screen. <laughs> yeah. Here's the other strange usage of jiggle physics in a E-rated game. It's not quite as prevalent as with Mrs. Bottles. No, not Bottles. Boggy. But it, it, it's still pretty... There, I guess. 
Three more, I was right. Trade? What if I want to trade for one or two? Sure, honey. Big Bear. It's so long. Oh wow, that was actually all of my empty honeycomb pieces. How convenient. Got like Luigi like traction right now. So they're uh, essentially requiring that you have the split up move before you go this way. Um, change care, thank you. <laughs> Swap collapse, yeah. The nice thing about upgrading health is that now I no longer have only two, two life while I'm playing as Kazooie. You have to join back up before you go in, because if, if you try to go into another area or another level, one of the the other character will complain if you're split up and say, You can't leave me all alone in here! Or something to that effect. New area of the overworld also means new eggs. These eggs are cold. Yeah, and that's about it. These eggs are cold. Not quite as awesome as grenade eggs. And it's not like, since I've already mentioned Metroid, it's not as awesome as Metroid where you shoot something with ice, it freezes, then you shoot something explosive at it, and it immediately dies and shatters. Although, really, there aren't... I can't really think of many basic enemies in this game that don't already die at one point anyway, so... But yeah, Ice Eggs, they'll be useful in the next level because that's the rule. They have to make do a bunch of things to make the new eggs useful in whatever level you got them beforehand. And we'll still use them occasionally, but not nearly as often as the others. So, uh, open up another train station. I ignore that mumbo pad for now, it's not really that important. Ignore that mumble skull over there, it's not that important. Open up ourselves another warp point, and we'll fall here and die. We won't die. Never mind what I said. Alright, so this time. We won't fall off and die, because we'll be a little bit more cautious. I don't even need to pull this bridge up, but since I'm doing a whole bunch of stuff in the global world for the time being, may as well take care of one more thing. Oh my god, shoes. I'm yep, just gonna grab some notes so I can more easily get... Okay, hang on, I gotta get this. Anyway, uh, we're here to get some notes, but we're also here to get this globo, which might be the furthest away from the place it's intended to be used at for this whole game. All the way over there. But, enough lollygagging, enough screwing around, enough faffing about. Let's go to the new level. See you guys later.